Well, good morning from uh, sunny Panama City Beach, Florida. We are staying at Panama City Beach RV Park. Nice place. But there's some things I gotta tell you and show you. So, be right back. Right here you got your poo. And right here's where you come in off of Thomas. Didn't go in the pool, a little too chilly chilly for me. And right by the pool is the office right there. So you're gonna pull in right here. You're gonna check in, find out where you're gonna stay. And very windy. Cold front's coming through or cool front, however you want to say it. It's just a once around. In the middle here, you got pull through sites. And of course, you know, there's two back ends. So you can have extra vehicle park in there. And all along the outside are all back end spots. Pull through sites, pretty long. You have plenty of room for your whatever you're pulling or driving or both pulling and driving right here is number three there's your power in the back you got a nice little slab the yard is the yard work is you know nothing fantastic it's pretty quiet you do have a RV park behind you didn't notice any problems seems like a retirement community and you do have Thomas right there and there's a building that's not on the beach but close to the beach you're supposed to have access we have not figured that out because we are here with our cousin and their family and they are on one of the hotels right on the beach so we just go over there site 8 that is what we got the site at least that I'm on 8 is level um, plenty of room for our RV and our car to park on here no picnic tables no fire pits no grills provided for you and it's you know sunny Florida but it is quote unquote winter time, so this is what you're gonna get this time of year. Uh, the cable coming out there, but it's got a female when you're supposed to have a male coming out of the box, so you have to have a female to female so you can hook up your cable. Water pressure, okay, it's not the best. Wi Fi. No bueno. It's good right now because the park is maybe maybe half full. So not a lot of people on it. I can imagine when this place is packed, probably in the summertime, it's probably crazy here. The way the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi is probably no good at all. But we have just enough in the morning and then at late at night to where we can watch YouTube videos, stream some movies. But other than that, during the daytime when everybody's on it, you aren't doing much of anything. AT&T service, which we have, is all the way up. It's full. So that, you'll have good. So if you have a hotspot or something like that, you can do whatever you want. It will work here. You are super close. It's just basically one road to get to everywhere here. There's Tons of restaurants to eat at. Some of them close for the season, which makes no sense to me. Florida, it's basically season year round, but hey, who am I? I'm not the one that makes these rules up. But would I stay here again? 
Most definitely. I mean, it is the road. The whole road in here is all paved, which is a nice look. And the electric boxes, they look like they're from the 70s. But they work. So I guess why fix what's not broken? Um, the beach, I mean, of course, now is almost completely empty. Um, but the water temp is a little on the chilly side. Uh, definitely uh, would wear a wetsuit this time of year to go swimming in it. If not, you'll be freezing quickly. But all in all, a good place. You come in, like I was saying, you come in back there by the pool and then you exit on the other end of the circle. Or not circle, but you know, this thing. So there's one way in, one way out. So just keep that in mind. The backup in here was relatively simple, but of course, doing the Class C, so most back end spark, sparts, spots are relatively easy. But definitely, definitely worth it. I mean, you pay a little bit more, of course, because you're very, very close to the beach, very, very close to all the happenings. Um, they're kind of old town ish area it's not an old town but where all your restaurants and everything are is probably 20 20 minutes up the road speed limit out there on the main road is 35 miles an hour and there's you know people crossing the street and people riding their scooters and whatever else to get through there um other than that i would say it's definitely worth checking out so if you're going to be in this area area cannot speak today ladies and gentlemen thank you for coming along and listen to me not be able to perform the english language very well so if you would do the usual stuff thank you very much for watching sorry i don't put out very many videos very often because i am lazy just a true thing peace